All right, so I'm gonna tell you a couple things here about this generator. So the problem with most of these power inverter generators is that they do not allow for you to charge with your Tesla and plug directly into this because it has what's called a floating ground or basically it's not grounded. So you can either ground this plug here and hope that your car detects it or I've got another trick that I'll show you here on how to do this. So I went and got this. This is just a, an extension repair cord basically and it's pretty straightforward. This is for another project I'll show you in a minute. But to, to make it work, it's like a two minute thing here. Basically you get this, I'm gonna unscrew that, and then I've just got a piece of little 12-3 wire in here. I'm gonna pull it out, and then all I need to do is just strip this off. And uh, basically get this stripped off here. Right? So once that's stripped, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna ground the left side, which is the neutral, to the ground. So to make this pretty simple, you're just gonna tuck that in there, we'll bend it over, and then I'm gonna create another little bend for it right here so that I can get it into that, all right? So now all I've got is this wire that is basically crossing over from the neutral over here on the left side over to the ground. And what that's gonna do is basically show us when we plug it in that the neutral is grounded. We're, we're basically lying to the Tesla and making it think that it's grounded when really it's not. Obviously this isn't the best method in the world, but it works great uh, if you're in a pinch. So that being said, all you need to do is just ground that and you can see this here, just goes directly from the neutral to the ground. Now I'll torque these down, put it back together. And we're in business. Just screw this back together here. Now all I need to do is plug this into that generator and it's gonna show it as being a grounded thing on this inverter. I'll show you here in just a second. All right, so the reason you need this, and hopefully you can hear this, this is a ground testing. Now you can see, if I plug that in, the only one of those is lit up. And I need to have both of them lit up. And so it, that, what that means is that it's not grounded. See that, open ground? So that means it's not grounded. So only that middle one is lit up. So what I do is this thing I just created now, I plug that in, and now you can see it's a perfectly normal plug. Both of those lit up, everything is fine. So what this means is, if you don't have it grounded, you plug it in, this isn't gonna work. It's just gonna blink red, and it's never gonna work, right? However, if I plug this in, now all of a sudden it'll go green and we can charge our Tesla. So that's the trick, is that you gotta be able to have that in there to be able to charge. Okay. So starting to charge. It's only gonna charge it at two kilowatts an hour because it's 12 volts or 12 amps at 120 volts and it'll take take a while to get there but the nice thing is is it does work so if you're in a pinch so there you have it that's why you set this up so you just build one of those keep it in your car and then you can plug it in and what that'll do is it fools the Tesla into believing that this is grounded and it works just fine So yeah, there you have it. Basically, a $2 thing here at Lowe's. You cross the neutral, which is your left side of a normal wired outlet, to the ground. That's it. Left side to the neutral, and then you're in business. And that 
will fool a Tesla into believing that your generator, your power inverter, if you've got a Honda or a Predator or a, a Yamaha or any of those little power inverter generators that don't have a ground on them, then you can fool it into believing it's grounded. You plug this into one outlet and you can plug your Tesla charger into the other and you're in business. Charging at two kilowatts, 12 amps, 120 volts. 